So what we're going to look at now is um, series, arithmetic and geometric series, the two that you need to know. I think arithmetic comes up in core one and geometric in core two, but you need to know them both anyway. And it's just a good thing to know. So <clears throat> first thing we'll look at arithmetic series. So the equation for a single point is given up here. An equals a plus n minus 1d. You might have come across it notated as un instead. It means it basically just means the term, the nth term, is given by a, which is the very first term, plus n minus 1, so the nth term it is, and then times by the common difference, so the common difference between each term, like so. So this is an example of an arithmetic series, so the first term is 1, second term is 2, so the common difference is just 1. And if you want to find the sum of the whole series, then it's given by this, n over 2 times a1 plus an, so the final term. So if you want to find the sum of this series from the first term to 100, then it's the 1 plus 100 times n over 2. And you can see this by looking at each um, kind of pair of a term, and each pair um, from the very first pair to the very last pair, the second pair to the second to last pair, it's all adding up to 101, which means you're going to have from 1 to 100, you're going to have 50 pairs, and the sum will be 50 times 101, because they all add up to 101. If you sub in a n, which we have up here, um, for what its actual value is, then you get a second equation for the sum of a series, and that's given down here. So the sum of a series can kind of be given by n over 2 a1 plus a n, so if you know what the nth term is, or you if, or you can use um, the, just the common difference, so you don't have to find the um, a nth term, if that makes sense. You just get to use the first term and the common difference. So there's two equations, and either of them you can use. If you don't know the common difference, use that one. If you know the nth term, then use this one down here. So on to geometric series, these are slightly more complicated. Um, an example is given by this, so you're just timesing it by 2 each time. So instead of having a common difference, you have a common factor. In this case, it's a common factor of 2. And the nth term is given by the first term multiplied by that factor to the power of n minus 1. So if you want to find the sum of a geometric series, you'd essentially add all the terms up. That's what a sum is. So you'd be doing... Um, the first term, n minus 1, is 0, so r to the power of 0 is 1. So the very first term is just a, second term ar, third term ar squared, and it goes all the way up to the nth term, which has this equation. Now, to find the sum, you have to do a little bit of a derivation. So it may, might not make sense at the moment, but we'll times the, the entire sum by r, and that gives us this, so each term is individually times by r. And then if we do s minus r, sorry, s minus rs, so this sum minus this sum here, then these two terms will cancel out, these two terms will cancel out, and that carries on. And then what you're just left with is all of these terms here will cancel out in this section, and what you're just left with is a plus a to the, plus a r to the power of n. Sorry, minus, because obviously you're subtracting this. That means you've got, if you take out a factor of s from this side, then you've got s times 1 minus r equals a times 1 minus rn. That means the sum is just given by this equation. Now if you want to do the sum to infinity, so you see that in the formula booklets, so if r is less than 1, then we have this equation. We send um, n to infinity, so we send it up. That means r to the power of n is going to decrease down those, basically all the way to zero. So that term cancels, and that's the sum to infinity. Most of these equations are given in the formula booklet, but it's good to have the derivation. It can sometimes ask you that, also just to get used to using them and to understand them a bit further. So if you've got any questions, then put it in the comments. Anything else you want me to cover, just let me know, and I'll try and get it done in a video soon.